Okay, I have just gotten a few flowers on here for you so you can see what they look like. Basically, I'm starting with um, some light pink, just mixing a little white and a little red on here together. Now, I just start by doing a little swirly shape in the middle and then just kind of wiggle it around and then just dab this shape around the edges, just like that, um, wherever you need to put them. Once you've got the light pink on, I just went through and added some straight red and just kind of added a few little, I'm just making these arc shapes to give the petals. You can swirl it in the middle if you want to, or you can mix some red and black together for that nice burgundy color and you can use that in the middle. I use that over here, over the light pink to give it a little bit of definition. You can dab it in the color if you're really feeling sassy with these. Um, well, and first remind people they can do any color. So if they want to have orange flowers or blue flowers or purple flowers, they don't have to have the pink. They can have any color that makes them happy. But you can do the center, like one color, and then do around the edges. Rinse my brush here. You can do around the edges like a different color if you want to. Um, that's not what I did for the master, but if you ever want to, you can just gives it a little bit more depth, gives it that road bud look. Um, and I'm not, I'm not taking a lot of time on these, right? So say if this is the center, just mix up a lighter color and I'm just making these swoop marks around them right here, just like that. If you wanna go in with some white, hi highlight them a little bit, you sure can. Um, and of course you can add your white flowers in here too. So you've got the outline of your basket here and you're making all your flowers in here and you'll do your white ones, right? And sometimes you can't see them because they're underneath another flower or two, right? So then you're just gonna whoosh them in between. Um, and then when you get to the top where the basket ends, you're gonna to wanna to make sure the flowers are bigger than the basket so they look like they're sort of cascading out. So to see how this one goes over the edge, where the edge of the basket would be. And you don't have to fill in all the spaces, right? You can, you can leave some of it blank. You can do a few little darker and mixing that nice black and red again. Or again, people can do any color they want, but you can do a few little, a few little darker spots just to low light and again you're just making a swirl and then just dabbing it on add a little center to these nothing wrong with a little little low light little accent mostly just because i decided that's my new favorite color look at that so pretty okay so you've got these all these flowers kind of exploding out of here and then you're going to go in with that pretty green color I'm going to use gray because I don't feel like getting green out. Um, and you're going to start doing, you know, some of your leaves. The foliage coming out. Leaf shapes coming out here and there from behind the flowers. This is just going to make it look more full. You can even dab some of the leaves in between to fill in the gaps. Okay, and that can really... Add to the fullness of your bouquet. Um, pairs of flowers are fine. You can even do a little leaf and have a third one out there. Once you're done, you're going to take your gray or black, whenever it is you're highlighting or low lighting these. So once this is dry, you're going to wait once it's dry and then you're just going to go over it like a nice basket weave, right? And then you have your basket of flowers.